Greetings, I'm Professor K, and in this short video presentation, we're going to learn how to install PyCharm on Kali Linux using JetBrains Toolbox. Step one in this process is to go ahead and download the JetBrains Toolbox. Now to do this, I'm just going to open up a browser up here inside of my Kali Linux, and in the address bar, I'm going to type in the following, HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash www.jetbrains.com forward slash toolbox dash app go ahead and hit enter once you're out here at the jetbrains download site i'm gonna go ahead and accept the cookies here scroll on down and you're going to notice that it will identify your operating system for you if you click on the download it will immediately send that over to your downloads folder up inside of Kali. It only takes a moment. The download has been completed. Go ahead and close out your browser. And from your desktop, you can go ahead and click on the icon that shows your file system. And in the left Windows pane, let's go ahead and click on the downloads folder. You'll notice that you have that archive that you just downloaded from the JetBrains location. You're going to right click on this archive. And from the context menu, you're going to select Extract here. Now, the extracted contents may not show correctly, but to get it to show correctly, just click on any option that you have over in the left Windows pane. I'll click on Desktop, go back to your downloads, and there it is. Our next step is to right click on the extracted contents of our archive, and from the context menu, we're going to select Copy. Over in the left window pane, you're going to scroll on down to the bottom till you come to File System. Go ahead and click on File System. In the right window pane, you're going to open up the op directory. In the right window pane, you're going to right click and you're going to paste. With the extracted contents now inside of the op folder, go ahead and open up the op folder. And you're going to find that you have the installer for the JetBrains toolbox. Right click on the installer and from the context menu you're going to select send to desktop create a link. Go ahead and close out the file system. Now on your desktop you see that you have the installer for the JetBrains toolbox. Go ahead and double click it. Give it a moment and the JetBrains toolbox installer will pop up. Go ahead and click on the continue button. Go ahead and check the box. If you so desire to help improve the toolbox app by sending anonymous message uh, statistics or not, <laughs> go ahead and click on the button where it says accept a license agreement. Here you can select your preferences. I'm going to go ahead and leave it at the default. I will check the box to use the same language for all tools. and I'll click the Get Started button. Give it a moment to populate. Once it has populated, scroll on down till you come to PyCharm Community. Go ahead and click on it, and that will begin the install. From here, you can select the button that says Install PyCharm Community, the latest version. And it now begins the downloading process. It will continue on and do the installation, but give it time and do be patient. To get a better feel for the progress at the top of the JetBrains toolbox, you can click on where it says Tools, and that will take you back and you can start seeing the downloading process as it occurs. Once PyCharm Community is installed, go ahead and just double click it, and PyCharm begins the installation process. First thing we have to do is confirm and read the terms of the agreement. Go ahead and click continue. On the next screen, you'll be asked about data sharing. Select your preference. And on the next screen, you'll begin the setup of your PyCharm. We can begin by closing out this error message for Java. And we don't need the quick tour. And what we will do next is select the option for a new project. 
Notice that PyCharm does identify the Python interpreter currently installed on Kali Linux, and that is Python 3.11. Up here where we have the name of the project, go ahead and change that Python project name to Test. When you're all done, just scroll on down to the bottom and click on the Create button. PyCharm is creating our virtual environment. Now that we have a new project that is entitled test, we must create a Python file that we can use to create the code. Now to do this, you go up here to where it says test in the left window pane, you right click, and from the context menu, you're going to click on new, and in the next context menu, you're going to scroll on down to where it says Python file. You're going to go ahead and give this Python a user-friendly name. And for this demonstration, I'm just going to call it test as well. And once you have the file named, just press enter on your keyboard. Give it a moment. And you'll notice over in the right window pane, the code editor pops up. All the way over to the left, you'll see that you have a toolbar. Click on the three dots and you'll have options for more tools. From the context menu for the more tools, you want to select the run option, and that will create for us a run terminal down here at the bottom. This will allow us to see the results of any Python script that we create up here inside of the right window pane. Up here in the right window pane, I have placed a very simple script. I'm just telling it to print out the words, hello world. Now to do this, I'm just going to use the run button that is present up here at the top of the window screen. And when I do this, the results of the script, after it completes, will be seen down here in the bottom window pane. This is the run terminal. So I'm going to go ahead and just click on this run button. And immediately you see that the results are, Hello World are printed out in the run terminal. We'll do one more. And what I'm going to do now is just use my back button, get rid of that syntax that we currently have in the right window pane. And I'm going to copy and paste in some more code that's going to allow us to convert Celsius to Fahrenheit. Let's see how we do that. So I've copied in my Python code and I have placed it into the right window pane, and we've started it off at the top with a comment. The comment is not going to be read by Python. This is just to let someone know if they open up the script, what the script is for. So this program converts temperature from Celsius to Fahrenheit, and you can scroll through here, and you can see it's a very small script, but it does a very fine job of being able to convert temperature from Celsius to Fahrenheit. Now let's just go ahead and run this script and see what results we get in the bottom window pane. In the bottom pane, we're asked to enter the temperature in Celsius. I'm going to enter the number 40. I'm gonna hit enter. And it says that 40 degrees Celsius is equal to 104 degrees Fahrenheit. For this next demonstration, I've emptied out the right window pane and I've copied in the syntax or the code for a simple port scanner. I'm going to go ahead and scroll through the code so you can see what it is. Not a lot to it, but it's very functional. And we're going to go ahead and click on the Run button. And so the first thing it's going to want from us is to enter the host to scan. Now we can type in either an IP address or a URL. I'm going to go ahead and type in www.google.com and I'll hit enter. And the next thing it wants is a starting port. I'm going to keep this very simple. And what I'm wanting the scanner to do is just check and see if port 80 is open on google.com. So I'll type in 80. I'll hit enter. And I'll say that the ending port is also going to be 80. And I'll hit enter. And it comes back and it lets us know that port 80 is open on 
google.com. And so that's going to conclude this short demonstration on how we go about installing PyCharm on Kali Linux using JetBrains Toolbox. I'm Professor K, and thanks for watching.